Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for a take. Awaken OS is one of the first Android 12 ROM which is getting the frequent updates as compared to any of the ROM for the OnePlus 6 and 60. Developer Vikas and his team doing the awesome job giving us the time to time bug fixing performance and the stability updates for the Awaken OS. So we got the new update on 16th April it is the same Awaken OS 2.6 but some of the bugs has been fixed in this build and they added some features especially they have a OnePlus setting options in the ROM. So it's definitely worth to review this update I didn't show the update process here you can check that from the right side iCard video. Just download the update and dirty flash in a TWRP if you are already on the Awaken OS. You can also use the inbuilt OT updater just download the update it will flash the update automatically. This will return your data without the loss. Remember don't use the manual update option in the OT updater it's not working. Now without wasting any time let's get started. You So I done the clean installation using the TWRP because I already downloaded the update from the Awaken OS site. Finally ROM booted with the signature boot animation of Awaken OS. After setting up the device we need to check the about phone whether anything new we can find in that. All the things are the old year nothing new same old Android 12.1 easter egg and the version. Security patch is same 5th April 2022. It's the same Awaken OS 2.6 Eclipse version. Kernel version is also old 4.9.309 built with the Google's LLVM toolchain. Say Linux is enforcing. This build is cooked on the 16th April 2022. Now we'll check what new has been added in the build. In the last change log they mentioned the two things actually they were not implemented that time. First is the left side volume panel. Now it's available. This is very handy feature because our volume buttons are situated on the left side. So we can easily control the volume panel. Second is the quick type gesture. If you go to the system and the gesture in the settings of the phone, we get this tab. By using this, we can use the double tap on the back of the phone for the different activities like the access the recent panel, notification access, screenshot and many more. We can assign this activity for the accessing any of the installed applications. Let's check the new Havoc or it's also called as the OnePlus setting. We get this option in a main setting of the device. In this we get the mute media volume toggle. It helps to mute the media volume if you enable the silent mode using the alert slider or through the quick setting panel. Another is the high brightness mode. If you enable this device gets the automatic peak brightness by using the sunlight lux values when you goes in outdoor mode. Here comes the new DC dimming mode. Actually this patch is available in the last build but the no toggle available that time which is now implemented. Actually it helps to save some battery of the device by lowering the DC current of the device drawn to the display. Another high brightness toggle helps to immediately give the peak brightness to the device when you enable the toggle. Next is the ambient display gesture which can be found under the display setting also. Next is the screen frame rate rate per second which also called as the screen refresh rate. We can also change its color and the overlay position. The screen gesture is the feature to access any application or the shortcut from the AOD screen by just drawing the gesture but sometimes it's not accurately opening the assigned task so we need to precise while drawing the gesture. Here I access the flashlight and the dialer using the gesture on the AOD screen. Vibration strength setting is available which is precise and working very good. Some extra tiles for the sum of these activities were added in the quick setting panel like the DC dimming, high brightness mode, FPS overlay and the OnePlus setting. So let's do some stability and the performance test of the new update. Overall ROM feels very smooth and no lags. Scrolling in the apps is very fast as some of the user previously asked me the questions regarding the scrolling issue but I didn't found that. In the Geekbench test I got very low score like for the single core it is 495 and for multi core it is 1768 which seems very low but actually ROM didn't have any of the bad effect of this score on the performance. Asna security is also got past here. Only wide one is L3 which was the same issue in all the ROMs. Now we will see what are the bugs I face in the ROM. First is the core recording is the same issue in the old update. Still it's not fixed here. When you tap on the recording button who gets the error like can't start the recording. Ok Google voice activation still not working for me but some user reported it's working for them. So you can use the magics module given in a right side card video to activate this. Volume button screen wake up setting is available but it's not working in the ROM. Slow motion in the OnePlus and the Google cam is still not working 
You can use the OnePlus and the Google camera builds available in the video description. Except these bugs, no other bugs I found, so it's a pretty stable build. You can definitely download and install the update, other bugs will be fixed in the new update which is coming very soon as per the developer's announcement. So thanks for watching this video, if I help you please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Take care, bye bye.